Hey everyone, it's Joe Hackman with DozeGoneSocial.com and ManageSolutions.com. And this morning, I got the news that the new Twitter tweet button had come out. So I went over to Twitter.com and I went to the goodies and went to the tweet button page. And I looked at how I could integrate that into my blog. So I did a little bit of poking around. I did a little bit of testing and I got a little stumped. I thought, you know, this should be simple. It should be easy to integrate. So I called my buddy uh, Dave Yankoviak from Lyft Development, my WordPress guru. And I asked him, hey, Dave, you know, how can I integrate this? How can I make this work on my blog? And he suggested that I try the append content plugin. So I went ahead and I set that up. And now I have on my posts, on my blog, a cool little tweet button. So I'm going to tweet this right now and show you how it works. And then I'll get into how you can add it to your WordPress blog as well. So basically right now it's grabbing, uh, because of the settings I set up, it's grabbing the title of the post and the blog site and then giving a, uh, a, a post here. So let's go ahead and tweet this out. So it's been, uh, it's been tweeted out, out to Twitter. Choose close. And I'm good. So now that's got a single count on Twitter. So let's go over to Twitter and see what that looks like. And there you have it. There's my tweet. So let's go back to how you can add this. And I, I want to say there's a couple caveats. And you know, stay tuned for those at the end because this is not a perfect implementation but it's a way that you can get it established and then until uh, people actually come out with the actual plugin for it. And if you know of one, please let me know. Respond to the comments on this video because I looked all over the place and couldn't find one. It's so new. And there's only, uh, I guess there was only about 10 or 12 sites <clears throat> that had it implemented and they were given a week to implement it. But we're going to implement it in five minutes. So the first step, what you want to do is you want to... Uh, you want to search for the plugin and install the under install plugins called append content. You're going to choose install now. It's the top one right there uh, by Andy Stratton. So I've installed that. Okay, I'm going to activate it. And now I'm going to go, it's here. So now I'm going to go to settings. And by the way, I'm doing this on my business's website, managedsolutions.com, which is running on WordPress 3 as well. And under settings, you'll now see something called a pinned content. So now that I've got that loaded up, let me go over to the goodies here and choose my style that I want to use. I like the horizontal count, so I'm going to use that one. The tweet text, you can uh, use the title of, that the button's on or you can use something else. The URL, you can use the page that the button is on or something else, which is kind of nice. You even have a choice of choosing languages. I'm using basically the default settings there. Uh, you can recommend up to uh, two other Twitter accounts that people can follow after. This is, I think, one of the most powerful features about this. And then, essentially, it generates the code. So I'm going to also include my uh, Twitter ID on there. And then I'm going to copy my code. So highlight the code. Go back to the uh, append content. Add, uh, go ahead and paste that code in there. And then I'm going to do only to posts. Ah, what the heck, I'll do all posts and pages. People can tweet my, my pages on my company's website. So I'm going to save the publishing settings. And actually, um, got a little ahead of myself. You have to also choose to save the content as well. So content settings saved, and the publishing settings were already saved. So now, when I go to managesolutions.com, I see my fresh new tweet button. 
Now to the caveats of this. Um, one of the things is, is if people are on your main page and they're not in a actual article, uh, it's going to tweet the title of the main page. It's, it may not tweet the, the actual article content. And let me give you an example here because this is in my feed on my main page. And see how it says Manage Solutions, Danville, San Ramon, Walnut Creek? That is the title of my home page where that article is only a part of. Uh, if I go to the uh, individual article, which is a fishing article here, that should say Dr. Dan wants to buy real estate, I and then I click the tweet button, then I have to correct. So I'm going to tweet that out. And I can view it on Twitter here. And there it is. There's my tweet. So one thing also that I'm not seeing, and I'm not quite sure how this plays in, is the uh, is the actual recommends. And I'm not sure if those recommends occur when someone clicks your posts or what. So feel free to do a, a video response to this. I know there's going to be an, an easier way to do this in a day or two, but for early adopters that just can't wait, if you want to add it today, here's your solution. You can do it now. You can be among the first to have this feature added to your blog. I hope you found this helpful. If you want to see more stuff like this, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, it's Joe's Gone Social. Also, you can go to joesgonesocial.com. And if you want to get some IT type stuff, go to managesolutions.com. And that's about it. Have a great day and thanks for watching. And I want to also give a quick shout out again to my buddy Dave Yankoviak. Dave, without your help, I couldn't have done this. I know we could have probably wrote a plug in today, but Dave is extremely busy uh, working on a, a lot of projects. So he's the man. Anyway, have a great day.